Och när du ändå är där så vill jag ha BBC. See you in the morning. Bye. Thank you. Det skärmigaste här. <laughs> det bästa att säga det. Här har den andra skon hängt. <laughs> som jag valde att inte ta på mig när vi började spela spelet. Det är därför jag har... Och, och, kan, vi kan väl kanske zooma... Nej, det var fel knapp. Zooma in där så ser ni att jag bara har en sko på mig. <laughs> den andra hänger där <laughs> som jag valde att inte ta på mig. Uh, och här inne hänger skjortan. Eller vad det är. Som jag också valde att inte ta på mig. <laughs> Rocka skorna, precis. Det är därför jag har en sko och en brun strumpa. Det är därför vi har en smutsig träningskläder. Därför vi ute ligger vanta. För det är så här kläder vi hittar. Slipsen som hängde i takfläkten däremot. Den har jag tagit. The fan stands still. Mm. Uh, vi har varit ute här också. Det måste vara kallt här eftersom jag hade ju sönder fönster. The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy. But you see the ocean and some war-torn buildings. Uh, ja, så frågan är ju hur, om vi ska våga... Nej, vi tar inte på oss några mer sko här. Vi, går, vi lägger oss i... No, 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 no. Close, 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 close. Var får vi någonstans då? Ja, där nu. The bed is cold and not particularly inviting. But it's yours. It's mine. The sheets look awful. <laughs> the bed is cold and not particularly inviting, but it's yours. The sheet looks awful. Lite the mitt, vi bor ju på en jävla hostel, ja. The option to go to sleep becomes available every night after 9 p.m. Yes, och vi måste lägga oss innan klockan två. The sheets två. feel at once coarse and Annars. clammy against your skin. Om jag fick någon trevlig klapp. The bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally Vad fick jag för skräp? Ehm... <laughs> um... Mm. Jag fick eh, lite färgstadsprylar eftersom jag gillar färgstad. Och färgstadsskål. Um, vad var det mer? Färgstad godis. Färgstad halsband. Jag fick eh, pengar av min far. Jag fick en bok över hur... Du fick viskul... Ja, men det var ju trevligt. Jag fick eh, en bok... Om hur Qatar köpte fotbollsven. Som min far köpte till mig. Det var ovanligt att han köpte en bok till mig. Um. Och sen, vad var det mer för spännande? Vad fick jag från svärföräldrar då? Fick jag 500 spänn främst. Då ska det vara ett bidrag till en endagars biljett till Sweden Rock här. Hoppningsvis så släpps ju det snart. Om man säger så. Uh, jag säger så här. Det, det är svårt att uh, köpa någonting till mig. För att allting. Jag sa ju det. Det, det jag önskar mig är ju en ny dator. Dual monitor arm till skrivbord. Ja, jag har också att fundera på om jag ska skaffa uh, alltså armar till mina bildskärmar. Just för att få ännu mer cleanare skrivbord. Och det. Men så inser jag att det spelar ingen roll. För jag har ju sånt jävla underbart och dåligt cable management. 350 på mediemarkt. Det är så billigt. Nu måste vi kolla. Innan vi trycker igång spelet här. De hade ju Peter Antoine som reklam en gång i tiden. Dator tillbehör borde väl ligga under va? Data för drålerna här, datorväskor och skydd. Jävla office, eh, datorkomponenter, bildskärm kanske? Nej det är ingen bildskärm i sig men... B90. Tack för länken. Övrigt gaming tillbehör. Ja, ja. Ja, 
Och det är ingen som har gett en dålig betyg i alla fall. Har man två skärmar i vanlig vinkel blir det rätt trångt, men ska man ha en vanlig och en vertikal är det perfekt. Jag har ju tre, så... <laughs> Ett litet enklare monitorställ som väl uppfyllde dess funktion var enkel att montera. Det var ju bra. Det var ju bra. Och sen kundbilden där var inte den bästa däremot. Det är väldigt bra. Men trångt. Jag tycker inte det ser så himla trångt ut. Den har ju 22... Jag har ju två 24 skärmar och en 27 tummare här. Vad vikten är på, på bildskärmarna har jag ingen jävla aning om. Men den inte, 24 tummarna lär ju inte väga 8 kilo. 8 kilo är ju typ tungt. Standard vesa fästen ju, eller hur? Ja. Jag vet inte varför, vad det är för storlek man brukar ha på, på bildskärmarna vesa. TV-apparaterna ju, har ju större. Men Vesa, det är ju, det är ju standard det där. Så att det borde inte vara någon större bekymmer om man har modernare grej. Ja, ah, jag visste inte att de hade så himla billigt då. Jag har inte letat så mycket. Jag bara, hade varit inne på en annan sida och eh, kollat och sett att de har haft sådana där och suttit och tittat på dem. Men jag tyckte att de var lite för dyra. De jag har sett där är sen för dyra. Jag har ju tittat på då har jag tittat på alldeles för dyra liksom. Du köpte en julklapp till svärson och bara såg detta till ögonvrån så du tillfälligt tillfälligt rätt. Jag köpte en julklapp till mig eftersom när jag sitter och jobbar. Jag har ju ingen så här dålig syn på det sättet. Men när jag sitter och jobbar <laughs> så brukar jag ha, alltså jag brukar kunna bli så trött i ögonen ibland eftersom jag sitter ju och jobbar hela tiden. Så köpte jag ett par sådana här ståtliga saker som ska ta bort det här blå ljuset. Från alla, alla så här enheter, mobiltelefon och det som är liksom tröttar ut ögonen. Så jag passade på att testa sådana här plockar upp. Och eh, faktiskt så får vi då säga efter två veckors användning att eh, tycker jag att, jag vet inte om det är en placeboeffekt eller ej, men jag tycker faktiskt att jag inte är lika trött i ögonen under en arbetsdag med sig. Men sen, som sagt, sen sitter jag ju typ Framför datorn mellan typ runt åtta snåret till typ halv fem varje dag. Typ här. Och liksom titta på bildskärmar hela tiden. Liksom. Så då, jag vet inte om det är ålder eller så. Ja, men månader eller två. Ja, jag tycker liksom att jag upplever det så initialt som sagt. Jag vet inte om det är placebo eller ej. Jag vet ju bara hur det var förut och det. Kan, kan ju vara så att jag sov för lite också. Och sov, sov lite bättre förra veckan. Alltså bättre. Jag sov någon mer timme varje dag om man säger så. And then sleep doesn't come. Doesn't come. And then sleep doesn't come. But I, but I want to sleep. Obviously. You're in bed with your eyes closed, but it's not happening. Why? Maybe it's the bed's fault. Maybe it's the bed's fault. Its synthetic filling has separated into hard lumps. The pillowcase smells oddly. <laughs> it barely covers your toes, stretching over your soft belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm. 
Breathing. Under your thronging eyelids, you see a dizzying array of colors. You won't get off this carousel quite so easily. I wonder if there was drugs in the tour now that kicked in. It's a little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still litter your mind. Part of you is still trying to solve the case, isn't it? Who killed him? Who? Something to do with. What was it that the lieutenant said? Union? And it's gone again. Your thoughts lost between the slowing brain waves. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images. Images start forming. Jag spelar här spelet, vad är det, typ tre, typ tio timmar. <laughs> och, och spelet börjar med, man vaknar upp i rummet, man pratar lite med någon, man pratar med sin kollega som man typ inte visste om. Sen drar man och ska få ner liket som hänger i trädet bakom stället man bor på. Och det är hela dag ett har gått ut på det, typ tio timmar. Och vi har inte löst det, vi har inte fått ner det där liket ännu. <laughs> <skratt> så lyckosam dag har jag varit för mig. Vi har pratat med massa andra människor. Oh, interesting. Kan vi zooma ut? Här uppe hänger ju liket. Fast nu är vi ju i drömmarnas drömmar. Och där... Det är en disk och kula ovanför honom också. Vi sköt honom i bröstet för att skjuta... Det är ju... Det är jag. Min karaktär. Uh, what it says on the can, Harry. Answer the question. I was born in a hospital where people used to go to die. I remember nothing. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Tell me what is this? I'm not answering before you tell me who you are. You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs? Between her legs and in her mouth? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. You know who I am. I'm the bad the bloated guy. corpse of a drunk. The one where you ask her, and then later in the streets, wondering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. On the phone. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? I left. Oh no, funky baby, you stay. <laughs> it was the rest of you that left. Or you just stood there, with one hand on the bottle and the other on your dick, watching it go. Ah, oh, bro, bro, watching it go. Tell me, where are your friends? friends? Human beings have friends, <laughs> Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? I can get it all back. No, it's gone. Gone. Three times gone and never coming back. Failed. You failed. You failed. You failed me. You found Elysium. Elysium? Inte det typ någon sån här rulla? Everything. The pale and the useless. On the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion people. And you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. I've talked to you before. No, Harry. You were just talking to yourself. Oh, come on. That's Don't all you ever do. do. Even in your dreams. And the act is wearing thin. The spots of the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snake skins in no time. Sweating out the bed. Stinky boy. Limbix is the stinky boy. What? Country lane drink up. I don't know what it is. You're not coming back from shit. 
thrashing around in that high conductivity <laughs> state of yours, bumping into things and acting like a clown. Who are you kidding? I'm trying to solve this case. Your mind is what now? I can't hear you. The rest is just a word dream. Jumbled up garbage. Mm -hmm. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet grinding in your head. Mm -hmm. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, <laughs> this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new this... type of hangover. God, there's another type? Oh, yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes, too. So soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head. Like okay. clockwork. Yeah. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. <laughs> shit factory. Okay. Nu somnar vi eller så blir vi väckt. Kill moral 2. Skönt, skönt, skönt. Sitter där. Jag är lite trött. Jag är lite sliten. Jag är lite hangover. Okej. Okay. Ska vi ta på oss en rock? Okej, okay, vänta, vi kollar, vi kollar. Nej, 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 nej! Det här är nackdelen med att spela på konsol ibland. Come on! Där! Good going, buddy. Yeah, my electrochemistry! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I just had the most beautiful dream of lifting, rejuvenating. Really? <laughs> because you feel even worse this morning than you did last night. The hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even you think? think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like Ooh, this. Uh, Detectives need to be able to think. Why is this happening? No, it's not that really. I feel super good. That's not really true. <laughs> your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. Time to get some more. Don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing this to yourself. Hmm. I, I think it's like, we electrochemistry list of you more for volition. Wait, what is speed? I need to get more of it then. Detecting is my life. Of course. <laughs> Martinez is speed central. Yeah! You just gotta poke around. Follow your nose. nose. Some uh, droger, I suppose. You and speed will be happy again. Find speed you and sniff it! This time. This time it will be different. We let our shirt hang kvar där and we let our rock ligga kvar där. So är det bara. We have our enda sko. We struntar i att det är kallt ute. Ingen till att förlora. Då ska vi se här om vi... Kim. The door is closed. Still nothing. This door can only be up. As you hold the metal, you sense the warmth left there by her hand. Ja, ah, Liv. Det var ju någon prutta där. Brutta på dag ett. Precis när de startade spelet så gick in där. Oj! Men, uh, ja hej. Kim vill prata med mig också. Nu har ju deras typ peng uh, vaknat här. Okay, we're we'll talking with our... Good morning, Kim. Kim, Jack Kim. Good morning. Looks like we can get to work at once. The union mess have turned up. Mm -hmm. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. Why do Everything you? points to the Duck Workers Union. The belt used for hanging him. The circumstances in Martinez. My preliminary information. Yes. Which may, of course, all be wrong. But we still need to talk to them. And it won't be... We have not listened to Hans. Preliminary information. I mean ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. 
They prefer to be policed by the union. These men fear. Vi har ju ett bekymmer här. Vi måste få ihop 20 cash. Vi har 1.52 innan dagen är slut. Men who drink beer Just for so There's talk of an armed wing of the union called the Hardy Boys who are responsible for state policing. I think it's them. Are these the men Gartre told us about yesterday? I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. One loose thread less to worry about. Mm. And one big problem to replace it. Gillar när vi questline börjar bli klara så här. That would just escalate tensions. Mm -hmm. No captain would sign. Ska inte det det du kan få med folk. Is it worth a conflict between the RCM? Jag bara skratta åt mig när jag ringde polisstationen senast i det här spelet. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? Let's One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them and continue with our business. Nej, vi pratar med dem på en gång. Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else first. But aren't you curious to know mm. what they have to say about the murder? Mm. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Uh, ah, we we skal kolla runt här om vi. Oh, what's in, on the shopping table? Shopping. Tomato. You see a heavy steel door. The cobalt blue surf. The door does not. Vi kommer fuffan inte in där. Vi har väl ingenting. Vi kan ju gå upp en level här. Men jag ska just bara. Uh... Clothes. Uses. Uh, psych and minus ett health. Ja, uh, vi tar sken hälsa när vi dricker det. Men psych går ju upp då. A pretty little puck shaped cap. Nice, nice, nice. Vi köpte ju den. Eller? Tape player. Harmon Wushi version. Eller W02. Equip this to play tapes. Jag har inte hittat någon tape ännu. Hur ska vi hitta den där rocken där? Ja? Half light. Official poise. Aye, Captain! Mm -hmm. Monday. Oh shit. Close the waterlock on Wednesday. Find money for rent and pay Garte. Mm -hmm. Find speed and sniff it. Vi ska försöka hitta en karta. Det är väl vår questline. Um, vi pratade med så många här förra gången. Vi pratade med under rullstolen igen då. Just a moment. And there's no public phones nearby? The closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, madam. Mm. It's fine. I understand. Thank you anyway. Mm. I'm glad to see you again, dear. Vi ska ju prata med... The union of dock workers. The lady is distressed. Perhaps something more upbeat might cheer her up. How do Lena? What's kicking? Say with the rules to spurring. Sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your conversation. Tell me you might seem. How's what's kicking? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but the Whirling's phone line isn't working. Hon är så snäll den här kvinnan alltså. The smile tells you she appreciates the effort. Sitta i rullstol och livet är bra liksom. Det, det är konstigt. The union office probably has a phone but I can't really get there or to the phone booth down the coast and Gary's phone is dead too. The manager was vague about it. To let the young woman who's house sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband and our friend Gary were supposed to get back by Monday night. But they're still missing, and I haven't heard from them. Oj då. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. He looks down. Okay, Alabar, has your husband gone missing before? That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always plans his scam. expedition it's a scam. so carefully. But you have more important things to worry about. She glazes 
plans is out the window. Expedition your husband was on. Just some field work, sweetie. Morale is Så mycket dialog i det här spelet. Det är charmigt alltså, när man kommer till de här sköna dialogerna. An extremely rare species of insect. Mm. Uh -huh. But they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast across the water lock to set a few traps. He said they'd be back on Monday. What could be keeping them? The water lock that was broken. Could this be it? Onsdag. Who is this scary person? Uh, the water lock to the other side of the coast is broken or probably is just stuck over there. Oh my. What happened to the water lock? You may not believe it, but it looks like some man crashed his motor carriage into it. Would you like to know? It's blocked by a big butter billboard that fell right into the water. Oh, sweetie. I'm expert. For you, I'd be looking forward to another sleepless night. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you both. Well, Lieutenant, you're doing a thing. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to the other side mm -hmm. of the coast, please do keep an eye out for my husband. I will try. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Yes, some left field scientific research is exactly what you need right now. Mm -hmm. Funk up that vanilla murder Funk investigation. Funk up that vanilla murder investigation. And if you see him. Let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the water lock's been repaired. And it's cold out there. If I see him, I'll let him know you were here, you were here when, when or if I get there. Oh, you're such a We tar up a la quest. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, yes. A, a zoologist. Crypto. A crypto zoologist. Crypto zoologist. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and okay. urban legends. Urban legends. Okay. That's uh, one opinion, yes. And people are entitled to their opinions. Mm -hmm. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. It's not a hobby, dear. It's a subfield of zoology, one specializing in animal species that are so exceedingly rare that many assume them to be extinct or even fictitious. Jag, jag funderar på om det kan vara så alla val i det här spelet man gör att i slutändan gör att man kommer till slutet och sen kan man inte få någon fälld. Searching for such species called cryptids is difficult and often thankless. And frankly, many scientists are too lazy to do it. Universities these days are rarely interested in supporting real research. She's completely internalized her husband's struggles. Mm-hmm. What fick we for alternative now? Maybe you could convince her to tell her about some cool cryptid. Ah, uh, which no, Yes. There's really no point in manipulating anyone. She'd be only too pleased to tell you about her work. Go on and ask. Hey, Lena, I'd like to hear about some of the cryptids you studied. Could you just tell me about a couple of them? Oh, I'd be delighted. Truth be told, I could ah, use yeah, the wait. company too. One cryptid. <laughs> one cryptid. One. It <coughs> won't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. I like the sound of that. Just one little cryptid promise. And I don't. Just one. Ah, Kim, the other talk monster. Disappointed in you. Who cares? Ooh, tough choice there. What is the biggest, tiniest, most dangerous, invisible? Okay, biggest. That would be the giant of Coco Nur. Aha! Saying to my dog. The giant lives in the most arid parts of the vast Coco Nur desert in South Samara, casting a strange light across the barren waste. So there, I feel like we've been there. Uh, mirage or a mirage. psychogenous luminance. Let's not elaborate the nature of this luminance further. No one knows for sure. It is like an awful mountain appearing from below the horizon and expanding to cover almost a third of your field of vision. The towering luminosity of Kokonur is Coco a bad omen in local folklore. Some say it's a Fata Morgana, others Fate unimaginable. Who here? No animal can be that large. It's, it's a, a mirage. 
That's what makes it so peculiar. A species surviving at the very limits of scientific law. The giant of Kokonur must be the largest animal the planet can support. There are limits, you see, to how large a metabolism an ecosystem can beget. Some say a gravity anomaly below the Kokonur desert might allow the creature to grow to these gargantuan sizes. Great. This is great shit. You need more. <laughs> this is great shit. You need more. Gravity anomaly. Dig in it. Dig in this parascientific stuff right here. <laughs> Okay, the tight no no quite we Kim. Hey, you promised you'd only ask about one cryptid. But Kim, don't you want to hear about another cryptid too? The lieutenant pauses thoughtfully. I will you that something in him breaks. Ah oh, fuck it. Let's have more cryptids. Ah yes! Well, the smallest cryptid is the Cryobacter Catlensis. Det här, jag tror att det här är totalt jävla meningslöst i spelet. It was discovered in one of the northernmost points of Katla on the Boreal Plateau Katla. by renowned geologist Caitlin Mijanu some 70 years ago. The bacterial colony Mijanu found had remained alive while frozen in ice for longer than anyone could reliably estimate. Certainly from before recorded history. Mishinu disappeared shortly after injecting herself with the bacteria she had brought back to Shit. study. No you... doubt in hopes of prolonging her own life. What? Wait, she injected herself with it? You mean there is an immortal geologist wandering the world? Why would you prolong your life believing a life is terrible? I intend to live forever too as a, as a symbol. She was preparing for the end of time. She wanted to witness and record the twilight proceeding. Immortal bacteria, immortal geology. That's too wild. Hmm. Being alive is terrible. Oh, sweetie. It's not all quite so awful, but prolonging one's life does seem to come with risks. After Mijanu treated herself with the bacteria, she stopped aging, but also, also became, became increasingly, increasingly eccentric and irascible. So that even her oldest friends were forced to pull away. Oh. We can assume that she has been living somewhere in the wilderness for decades now, all alone except for the cryobacter catlensis coursing through her bloodstream. Bigger be there, Wortley. Of course, dear. Mm. Tell me more, more, more. I'll look like her. Uh, tell me more about a rare insect. I hope you were able to pawn that old trinket. Oh, thank you, dear. I confess, I am glad to see it again. Mm. Even the lieutenant seems happy with this turn of events. Let's not leave her back on anything, so we stall or loan her of her. My samvete says so. I think that they were out to say. First, the good gerningen we do in this game, I think. 